Road trip because we're taking that. Reach into the balloon. Nope, I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you. No, I'm gonna. Howdy. Okay, I was fourth. Yeah, well, I was fifth. <laughs> That's not even right. Yeah, but I beat you. Y'all are both still late. We gotta shove off sooner or we'll miss the tailwind. Don't worry, we wouldn't have left without you. Well, that goes without saying, darling. After all, Rainbow Dash is the guest of honor at the Rainbow Festival. <laughs> Has any pony seen Twilight? It's not like her to be late for an adventure. I'm coming, I'm coming! <laughs> Sorry, I just had to pack up a few books and papers to grade. And by few, she means slightly less than I'm able to lift. <sighs> Wait, you're bringing work to a festival? Yeah, it's supposed to be a non-stop funorama party! <laughs> Grading papers is fun. It's relaxing and rewarding and... Too much to talk about right now. <laughs> Let her loose, Spike! Keep an eye on things for me, and feel free to file those class assignments while I'm gone. It's my top priority! Have fun, every pony! Um... Why aren't we going anywhere? Hmm. The basket's too heavy. Rarity? How dare you! I brought the itziest valise. Sorry to do this, Twilight, but... <laughs> My papers! Uh, they'll keep till we get back. Oh. Miss us! Bye -bye. Keep an eye on things! See ya! And remember, whatever happens at the Rainbow Festival, I want to hear all about it when you get back. Bye! Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. We'll miss you! something about a spa in... Where is it we're going again? Hope Hollow. Or, as I like to call it, Rainbow Dash Fan Central. <sighs> You're gonna be like this the whole trip, ain't you? You know it. I mean, look at this letter. They love me there. Dear Rainbow Dash, thank you for agreeing to be our guest at this year's famous Hope Hollow Rainbow Festival. The many members of your fan club... <sighs> are looking forward to your visit. You and your friends will be staying at our famous luxury Rainbow Resort and Spa, where your every whim will be catered to. Oh, I accept that challenge. I have so many whims. Oh, look, there's a famous butterfly garden, too. Hmm, you know, it's strange that we never heard of this festival before, especially since everything in the town is so well known. At this year's festival, you can eat treats at the traditional Rainbow Bakery booth, sing your favorite rainbow-themed songs at the karaoke competition, bakery and karaoke! It's like they sing it to my soul! And try our famous rainbow trout catch-and-release activity. Huh. 
Now that sounds right up my river. Plus, we get to watch the mayor give Rainbow Dash an award! I'm going dance on the cheering section! An award for what, exactly? Uh -huh. Showing up? General coolness? <laughs> All of the above? Well, we're so glad you invited us along. Yeah! It's gonna be one long party! Which starts... now! A hundred bottles of pop on the wall, a hundred bottles of pop! Take one down, pass it around! Ninety-nine bottles of pop on the wall, ninety-nine bottles of pop on the wall, ninety-nine bottles of pop! Two bottles of pop on the wall, two bottles of pop! Take it down, pass it around, one bottle of pop on the wall! And now one more time! A hundred bottles of pop on the wall! Six times too many? <sighs> Shouldn't we be there by now? I thought so, too. Maybe we should have turned left at that last cloud instead of right. Oh, it's getting darker by the minute. I can't see anything! Oh. I spy with my little eye a rainbow! Great. We're playing that game now? No! I really do spy a rainbow. Wow. That's the biggest rainbow I've ever seen. And we're heading right for it! Don't worry, we'll pass right through it. Rainbows aren't solid. <laughs> Tell that to the rainbow. I don't think that's a rainbow. It's a rainbow billboard. Oh, no! Hang on, every pony! <laughs> I don't think that's working! Thanks, y'all. That basket could have been us. Where are we? Uh -huh. Welcome to Hope Hollow, home of the famous Rainbow Festival. We've arrived. And there's no pony here to greet us. Good thing, too. The guest of honor and her friends just destroyed the town sign. Rainbow Dash, did you let her say where our hotel is? Uh. The middle of town. Hmm. Doesn't really help much when you don't know where the middle is. Let's start looking. You'd think a big luxury resort would be sort of, well, easier to spot. Yeah! It seems like the whole town's shut down! Oh, look! There's some pony. Hmm. Hello! <gasps> oh! Maybe you can help us. We're here for the Rainbow Festival. Oh, a uh, Rainbow Festival? Yeah, you know, the one where I'm the guest of honor. Yeah. Oh, for crying in the mud. What's Sunny done now? Excuse me? I mean, um, you'd best talk to Mayor Skies about that. Great! And where would we find him? City Hall. Uh, but it's closed till tomorrow, don't you know? Is there something I can help you with? Ah, uh, yes, please. Uh, could you direct us to the Hope Hollow Luxury Resort? <laughs> oh! Oh, you mean the hotel? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's easy. There's only one in town. Could you, uh, give us directions? No need. You're there. I mean here. Hotel Hope, also known as the Town Information Center and Library. 
My name's Petunia Petals, by the way. Hello! <laughs> I'm the librarian here. And the information guide. And the hotel manager. A historian, chef, portrait painter. Um, I'm Rainbow Dash, and this is every pony. Uh, well, hello, every pony. You just wait one hoof shake and I'll take you to the room. The room? There's only one. Makes it easier to find. <laughs> Here it is. The Royal Suite. Charming, isn't it just? I couldn't help noticing there are only three beds. Okay, four. Oh, there's a pop out, too. <clears throat> it can be a little tricky. <clears throat> there she is. Sleeps, too. You'll be all fresh and ready to see the mare in the morning. Sleep tight. Did any pony notice anything strange about Petunia? Other than that she just called this place the Royal Suite? Hard to tell on this light, but she looked a little gray, didn't she? Probably from all the dust up here. <sighs> Aw, this room's not so bad. All it needs is some balloons, strings, and... comes with a cute little spider. Hello, spider. Hmm. Ugh. Sorry, every pony. I didn't know what I was getting you into. Oh, the most important thing is we're all together. Yeah. As long as we have beds to sleep in, we're set. Wasn't the worst night of sleep ever. <laughs> Definitely in the top three. Or would that be the bottom three? Why is every pony looking at us? Maybe they recognize Rainbow Dash. Or Princess Twilight. But probably me. No. I think they're staring because we're the only part of this town that isn't gray. What do you mean? Look around. Well, the colors here are gone. That's so strange. It's just like I noticed about Petunia last night. Everything's mostly gray. Oh, hello. Except the stuff that's grayer. Oh, my. I knew something was different, but... This is so weird. Huh? From the way they're gawking at us, it appears they think we're the odd ones. Maybe they don't even notice. It might be rude to mention it. I wonder what caused this. We can ask the mayor. Yeah, if we ever find him. <laughs> Quit shoving! Shoving? These are pro-level moves I'm doing, sis. It'll wrinkle your withers. I'm not pouting, sweetums, but I am hurt by your comment. I thought the pie I baked was quite tasty. I didn't say it wasn't. You didn't say it was. <gasps> Watch where you're going. You don't own the sidewalk, you know. <laughs> well, I never. <sighs> uh. Oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> Well, look at that. Some pony's fixing up our balloon. Oh, goodness. This is unfortunate. Bad with a side of terribly awful. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> <Hey>. Hurry. <sighs> 
Oh. <laughs> well, stuff me in an olive and call me a pimento. <laughs> it's the <gasps> Rainbow Dash. You made it. Uh, it is you, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty sure, yeah. Oh, thanks, Celestia. I saw the balloon, thought the worst, and, well, you're here, all of you. <laughs> Welcome to the Hope Hollow Annual Rainbow Festival. I'm Twilight Sparkle, and you must be... Sunny Skies, the mayor of this lovely town, and pleased as a poplar tree to meet you. We're very sorry about your rainbow billboard, Mr. Mayor. It was dark and... Oh, don't give it a second thought. That old thing needed repair anyway. I haven't used it since... Uh, well, never mind. Uh, anyway, once your balloon's fixed up, Torque can take care of the billboard. Every pony, meet Torque Wrench, our town handy pony. She offered to repair your balloon for you. He volunteered me. She'll have it fixed in a jiffy. If by jiffy you mean this'll take all day. So, you got in last night. I wish I'd known I would have been here to greet you. Uh, where'd y'all stay? At the luxury hotel. Petunia Petals let us in. Oh, well, of course she did. She's something, I'll tell you what. I'd be lost without her. I mean, the, the, the town would be. Mayor, I hope you don't mind my asking, but is there a reason your town is faded? Oh, you spotted that, did you? Well, it's a long story. Uh, why don't I show you the town highlights first? Uh -huh. Here's our famous outdoor spa with the all-natural mud bath. Pretty, huh? Maybe we could see some of the Rainbow Festival activities from the brochure. Of course. The bakery booth is there. Huh? Huh? Or will be. We're still setting up, but we got a lot of great things planned. And the butterfly garden? Oh, that's right over here. Huh? Oh, uh, let me fix that. So, none of the butterflies are actually... Real? Oh, no. Uh, what with the flowers not having color and all, the butterflies don't really come around much anymore. I'm almost afraid to ask, but the brochure mentioned fishing. Fishing? Oh, well, not sure what you mean. Our famous rainbow trout? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, uh, you don't fish for him exactly. You just kind of uh, talk to him. Uh, he's right over... Uh... Ah, that's funny. Where'd our trout go? Oh, Mr. Mayor. I'm uh, just taking my lunch now, okay? <laughs> um, so no big deal. Well, actually, okay, yes, kind of a big deal. But the brochure also mentioned the karaoke contest? Right here. The trout doubles on harmonica. Talented of him. Good thing I bring my own karaoke party. With me, wherever I go. Whoa, whoa. Well, uh, that's the big tour. Mayor Skies, <laughs> I don't understand. Your Rainbow Festival isn't quite as you described. And the resort hotel wasn't what it was cracked up to be either. Except for all the cracks. None of these things are as pictured in your brochure. Well, maybe I exaggerated a little, but I, I'd intended on having everything ready. It's just kind of hard getting any pony excited about anything in this town anymore. Uh, I didn't think you'd come if you knew the truth. The truth? Oh, there is no Rainbow Festival. <gasps> no Rainbow Festival? No fan club? Believe me, I didn't mean to... Bring us here for nothing? Think of all the papers I could be grading. If you just let me... We should leave this very moment. Balloon's not fixed yet. Maybe we should let the mayor explain. <clears throat> uh, guess I should start at the beginning. A long time ago, when my grandpa Skies was mayor, Hope Hollow was different. They used to call this town the End of the Rainbow. Because everything you'd ever want, you could find right here. Thank you. 
Next door neighbors chatting over whitewood fences, stopping on the street to say hello. When friends did well, we sang their praises, brought soup to comfort them when they felt low. That was our town at the end of the rainbow. No pots of gold, her buried treasure, just every pony looking after each other. The truest riches cannot be measured. It was a lesson that had kept us together in our town at the end of the rainbow. To honor our fine town, my grandpa Skies decided to throw a party each and every year. They planned for weeks, cooked for days, celebrated 50 ways. So every pony would gather here in our town at the end of the rainbow. Grandpa made a gizmo called the Rainbow Generator to paint the sky with lots of colors, shiny, bold, and bright. To remind us all, together we are greater And darkness never wins against the coming of the light Grandpa passed it on to Dad, then it was my turn To make the pretty rainbows in the sky It filled my heart with pride to see our whole town gathered gratefully Where we were sure there would never be an end to the Then fences went up, we lost track of our neighbors, each year passing dimming spirits all around. The happy days came to an end, and no pony had time to spend together in the town. I thought I knew exactly what the best temple needed, a bigger, better surely make them see it but the extra magic was too much for the rainbow generator and i'm the one who brought the rainbow to an end that's how our town our little pony town, that's how our town saw the end of the rainbow. <laughs> that is the saddest story song I've ever heard! I tried for a long time to get every pony interested in the festival again. To remember what it's like to come together as a community and share the fun. But no pony even bothered listening. That's why I wrote to you, Rainbow Dash. You were my last hope. I figured if a pony of your stature came to town, it would get every pony excited about putting on the festival again. I mean, Rainbow is even part of your name. Mm, yeah, I can see that. Mr. Mayor, what kind of magic did you use on the Rainbow Generator? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't know what I was dealing with. I only wanted to help. But instead, I sucked all the color out of the town. That billboard's one of the only things that didn't change. To me, it's a reminder of what we can be. Keeps the hope in Hope Hollow. Hmm. If I could find out the type of magic you used, I might be able to reverse the spell. You mean, you're gonna stay? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing we like better than a challenge. Especially when it comes to helping ponies. You don't know how clam happy this all makes me. <laughs> Thank you kindly. We'll do whatever we can to bring back your rainbow festival. I won't fib to you. It won't be easy. It's gotten so no pony even talks to each other anymore. Mm, it might be tough, but we have a little experience bringing ponies together. Yay! This is exactly like planning a party, only bigger. Cause it's a
Um, I'd better go with her. Hmm, an overall stylistic look to unify the sentiment of the celebration. That's what this festival needs. You mean like a rainbow? Yes, darling, yes, yes, but more complex, more thematic. Something like... Ooh! Something like that! Formidable! The biggest challenge is getting your town interested in a rainbow festival and everything so... grey. I think if we can bring the color back, it'll solve everything. Yeah, I'm with you there, but... Rainbow Dash, I need your help. Mr. Mayor, seriously, is there a fan club? Oh, you betcha. They're around. Somewhere. <sighs> Any tools I can borrow, Your Honor? I'm gonna spruce up that billboard to let every pony know this here Rainbow Festival's back in business. Oh, that's music to my ears. Torque Wrench, let's get our guest tooled up, what do you say? She's gonna put our rainbow back up. Oh, yippee. <laughs> Oh, yeah. If you don't mind, I, uh, I have a speech to work on. See you around. Hmm. So, what's your plan? If magic caused this, maybe magic can solve it. I was afraid of that. I've never seen any magic like this before. <laughs> Let me try. I mean, Rainbow's part of my name, right? That's all I got. Oh, thanks for trying. I guess I need to do more research. Look out! No, you look out! <laughs> Are you okay? Why did you zig in front of me like that? I didn't zig, you zigged, I zagged! That's no excuse for... Guys, guys, hold on! It was just an accident. An accident that happened in front of you. Ugh, I'm so embarrassed. All of our lives we've been wanting to meet you and... Wait, so you're the fan club? You've heard of us? Barley's the president. Pickle's the assistant president. Well, what do you know? The mayor was telling the truth about something. Anyway, you're my brother's favorite Wonderbolt. And my sister's favorite Wonderbolt, too. He knows all your best moves. So does she. We practice all of them every day. <laughs> but we really can't do them. Well, it's true. Go ahead. Ask her. No, you ask her. No, you ask her. No, you. No, you do it. No, you do it. Some pony ask me. Do you think maybe you could give us a lesson? Just a tiny one? Show us some of your moves? <laughs> well, you promise to listen and work hard and practice? <gasps> yes, yes, absolutely yes. practice. <laughs> Tell you what, if I like what I see, the three of us will put on a show at the Rainbow Festival. Oh. There's still a Rainbow Festival? And we're gonna perform at it? I think the whole town should know there's a couple of future Wonderbolts living here. Come on, we got work to do. Did you hear that? She called us future Wonderbolts! I think some of this can be saved, but we'll need some fresh lumber. Uh, Torque, the mayor said maybe you could lend a hoof. Hmm, him and his crazy schemes. What's your business in this, anywho, hmm? 
Well, for one thing, we're helping the mayor. And for another, Granny Smith always says, you break something, you fix it. And any job you do, you should be proud of. <laughs> proud of being a repair pony? <laughs> well, absolutely. It's a pretty rare talent to have. Nice work on that balloon basket, by the way. Reweaving all that straw is no joke. Oh, yeah, well, thanks for, well, noticing. Pancakes, are you really the rarity? Uh, it's just rarity. Uh, and I, I couldn't help but notice that you've got... <gasps> I love you. I love you so much. Your work, I mean, your designs, your taste, your eye for beauty. Well, thank you. They're the perfect canvas for me to fancy up. Yes, about that. The, the hat, the, the boa, the scarf, the... Do you like them? Very charming. <gasps> thank you. Those are Kerfuffle Originals. I'm kerfuffle, spelled like it sounds with a double f for the fuff. I should really stop tacking now. I do hope you don't mind my asking. But with all this talent, why don't you simply display your own work instead of adding to others? <laughs> oh, oh no, I, I couldn't. It's not good enough by itself. <laughs> Au contraire, take this shawl. Hoof dyed, nicely woven, a piece of art by itself. Imagine if you could work in color. Oh, I do imagine. I mean, that's how I design things. I feel in my heart what the colors are. Uh, like this scarf. This stripe is red, then orange, yellow. Like a rainbow. How would you like to work with me as the official assistant designer of the Rainbow Festival? <sighs> really? Work with you? I can't believe it. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, there's still a rainbow festival? Darling, if we have anything to do with it, not only will there be a festival, it will be the most stylish any pony in this town has ever seen. Now let's get started. Like it? I love it. I just never thought that a teeny town like Hope Hollow would have a library this grand. We may be small, but we're well read. I make sure of it. Mayor Sonny was right. You are something. Did he really say that? <laughs> oh, that silly unicorn. Did he say anything else? I mean, uh, anywho, what can I do you for? I don't suppose you have a magic section? <laughs> Arcane, elemental, or theory of? Let's see. If 50 cupcakes makes a party, that means for the festival we need... Divide by two, carry the one... More. Super more! We're gonna need some baking help! It looks like it's closed. Aw, that's so sad! We could only use the ones from our yard, lovey. Oh, darling, stop it! Excuse me! I see you're taking your pie for a walk, and I was We're wondering... not interested. Oh, it's getting so a pony can't even walk down the street without being terrorized. <laughs> that's not terrorized. This <laughs> is terrorized. <sighs> So, how would you like to be a part of the official baking team of the Rainbow Festival? There's still a Rainbow Festival? Uh-huh. We'll have a booth with cupcakes and pastries and fun, and we're going to start with this pie. Let the taste test begin. Mm. 
<laughs> what kind of pie did you say this was supposed to be? Apricot? Are you sure? It's kind of... crunchy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Well, the apricots are from our very own tree. In our very own yard. Behind our very own house. Yeah. Maybe we should get a look at this tree. <coughs> All right, rookies. Show me what you got. She sounds just like we always imagined she'd sound. Only 20% cooler. Well, aren't you gonna fly or something? Yes, sir. I mean, ma'am. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay? is something you have to work up to. Even I didn't become Rainbow Dash in one day. Two days? Every pony's got to learn the basics before they can show off. Whoa. You'll get there. But first, let's start with a single flip. <gasps> if you don't mind my asking, you don't sound like the other ponies here in town. Oh, we weren't born here. We're originally from Manhattan. But it was so big. All those ponies crammed together, never talking to each other. Ooh. We heard Hope Hollow was just the opposite, so we moved here. And it was wonderful. Uh, for a while. What happened? Uh, things changed. Ah, oh, here. This is the tree. This is where the apricots in my pie came from. Well, I'm no expert, but I don't think these are very ripe. Apricots are supposed to be orange. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? With hardly any colors in this town, one apricot looks like another. What about that tree? Its apricots are big and juicy. Oh, well, we can't use the apricots from that tree. Sure you can. All you gotta do is... Hey, stay away from my tree! What was that? Just old Moody Root. He's made it quite clear he won't share his apricots. He hasn't even said hello in ages. Have you tried saying hello to him? What? Well, no, but... Mr. Moody Root, are you there? Who wants to know? I'm Fluttershy. Your apricot tree is beautiful, so healthy. You must take very good care of it. Well, I try to. Uh, plant food, good water now and then. Keeps my apricots happy. I bet that's why you have so many of them. You must always be busy making things. Jam, cobbler, pie. Nope, I just eat them. Although, pie does sound pretty good. What in Equestria is she doing? I haven't the foggiest, dear. Doing what she does best. Your neighbors were just about to bake some pies. You know them, right? Mr. and Mrs. Huffington, Mr. Moody Root. Um, <clears throat> hello, uh... Yes. Hello, Hello, Mr. Root. <clears throat> but they're a little short on apricots. If only there was some apricots we can use! Ahem! Ahem! Oh, yes, of course! We'd be happy to bake you a pie. Two or three pies, even. So you mean if I give you my apricots? <gasps> what a great idea! Then every pony can share. What do you think, Mr. Moody Root? Oh, oh well. Wait for it. Got a ladder? We can just pick it from your side of the fence. 
Oh, um, yes, of course. This way. A prism curse? An erasure spell? None of these are big enough to make a whole town lose its color on their own. Uh, unless... Oh, for the love huh? of cheddar. This works, just there's this thing, this thing, and it's just not right yet. Mayor Skies! Oh. What is all this? Princess Twilight, welcome to our town's rainbow room. Anything you want to know about each year's festival from the very beginning. The pictures! They're in color! Sure are. Oh, those are from happier times, back when there still was a festival. Seems even though we faded, the memory never did. I come here sometimes for inspiration. I need plenty for this speech I'm writing. Biggest one of my life. Oh! Didn't see you there. Sunny, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> Just leaving. <laughs> I gotta finish this. Well, uh, see you later. Wow. The festival was really something, wasn't it? It used to be wonderful. It brought the whole town together for a long time. And these pictures are from the last festival. You can see, it didn't go well. Right. The mayor's magic in the generator caused the colors to go. That's what Sunny thinks. He blames himself for it, but I'm still not convinced it was anything other than an accident. There's something strange about this. I just can't put my hoof on it. If only the generator hadn't been destroyed. Not all of it was. <gasps> I don't keep it out because I know it hurts the mayor to see it. Mind if I borrow this? <laughs> Great job! It's even better than it was before, don't you know? Rainbow Festival. Didn't know it was still going on. Sure is. Bigger and better than ever. I hope. Tell all your friends. Can we go, Mama? I suppose so. Why not? <gasps> Mr. Mayor. I hope you don't mind, but... Where'd you find that? I gave it to her, Sonny. She has an idea. Best idea would just be to throw that thing in the trash heap. My theory is that the generator magnifies whatever magic it uses, makes it stronger. So if we could rebuild it... and use one of the reversal spells I just read about, it could work to bring color back to the town. Even if we could get it working again, which is quite a tall order. Not for a gifted repair pony, who I just happen to know. Let me take a look-see. Yeah, I could give her a go. Oh, I don't want to get my hopes up, but Yahoo! Don't worry, I'll get to work. Um, how's your speech coming, Sonny? I'd be happy to help you with it, if you'd like. Ah, uh, oh, no, you couldn't. Uh, thanks, but uh, I have to do a little mayor-type business, don't you know? But I'll check back in a little bit to see how everything's going. Hmm, he's acting so peculiar. From what I've seen of the mayor, how can you tell exactly when peculiar kicks in? Mmm. <coughs> If I'd have known your pie was this good, I'd have given you those apricots ages ago. Mr. Huffington did all the baking. Mm, inspired by you, Snookums. Mm. Say, the whole town should know about this here pie. Oh, don't worry. They will. We're gonna give it away at the Rainbow Festival! Wait, what? There's still a Rainbow Festival? Uh-huh. Ha <laughs> ha!
Well, here it is. Had to hoof build some of the parts myself, but it's as good as new. Whoo wait! This looks amazing, Torque. No pony else could have pulled this off. Thank you so much for your help. It was a real challenge, but turns out that was part of the fun. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Now we need to test it. Should we call the mayor? Might be best to make sure it works first. I'd hate to disappoint him. Uh, Twilight? I think I saw... In a moment, Applejack. This is important. Yeah, but turn on the generator. Huh. Okay. I'm sorry. I thought for sure it would work. Let's not tell the mayor. It would break his heart. No. We have to tell him we failed. We can't bring the color back. Hmm. Twilight! I really think you should see this. You bet we you... We did it! Huh? <sighs> Everything you need for the Rainbow Festival Bake Sale! Ah. Courtesy of the Huffingtons. And Mr. Moody Root! <laughs> Ooh, everything looks delicious! Mr. Moody Root! Why, I haven't seen you in the library in ages! Hi, time I came back. Uh, you got any of them there, cookbooks? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. They've been practicing their tails off for the big show. What big show? The Rainbow Festival. They're the official entertainment. Landing still needs a little work. You're all here. Wonderful. You can help us set up our cart. Kerfuffle's official Rainbow Festival accessories. Ta-da! <laughs> Whoa! Nice stuff! And I designed color-matched accessories for each of ya. Um, I can't help but notice that the color-matched accessories don't have much color. Well, of course not, silly. The town doesn't have any color, remember? Oh, right. Oh, but don't worry. I know where the colors are supposed to be. An orange scarf for Applejack, red leggings for Fluttershy. Ooh. The pink flower lay is for, well, you know who. No, who? <laughs> and look at my purple kerchief. Isn't it divine? The blue goggles are for Rainbow Dash. <laughs> And I think I have some that might match for you, too. Whoa! Whoa! And something very special for Princess Twilight. Wing bling! In every shade of the rainbow, don't you know? <gasps> Kerfuffle, this is amazing! Every pony, you've done great work. <laughs> <sighs> I just wish I could have done my part. I hate to admit it, but I'm stuck. I don't know how to make the town's color come back. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to tell you. It is coming back. <gasps> What's happening? Something wonderful. But how? It 
wasn't the generator. Which means something else must have drained the town's color in the first place. I have to get back to the library. I thought so. Look, in the second photo, when the generator goes off, this pony is walking away. But on the third photo, when all the color's gone, he's back where he was. Which means... <gasps> we have to tell the mayor! Tell me what? Sonny! Have you seen what's happening outside? Oh, I've been in here for a while working on my speech. Maybe we should just show him. Who wants apricot pies? Best pies in Hope Hollow. Pies for sale? Yummy licious. Hello there, Mr. Huffington, Mrs. Huffington. Been a while. How lovely to see you. Oh! What's better than one pie? Lots of pies! Official Regal Festival goodness right here now! Over here, darlings. Just look what Kerfuffle has come up with. I never knew you did such great work. I have to visit your shop. Hey, you got anything waterproof? Mm-hmm. But colors! So you were able to reverse the generator? The generator had nothing to do with it, and never did. So none of it was my fault? No, you big doofus! How many times have I tried to tell you that? All those years you blamed yourself for nothing! These photos from the library explain everything. Once I realized they were out of order, it proved that the town's colors got dim before you turned on the generator. Boy, howdy, am I glad to hear that. But then, what did cause it? It's called hopeless magic. Every pony was already giving up on each other, losing hope. Then, when the generator blew up, it must have been the last straw. It took all the hope out of the town for good, along with the color. But now, there's a different kind of magic, of every pony coming together again. Just the way you wanted it, Mayor. What do you know? There is still a rainbow festival. And we'd better get it started. This town's been waiting long enough. The generator's working again, Mr. Mayor. Just the way your grandpa built her. Huh. I just hope my speech lives up to the occasion. Attention, please! Welcome to the brand new Hope Hollow Annual Rainbow Festival. And here's the pony who made it all possible, Mayor Sunny Skies. <laughs> I am as proud as a two-tailed peacock to see you all here today to once again celebrate our little town at the end of the rainbow. Yeah! Oh. And I can't give enough thanks to Rainbow Dash, Princess Twilight, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Rarity, and Applejack. My grandpa started this festival to celebrate us the ponies of Hope Hollow. It's you who brought friendship back to our town and all the bright colors that come with it. We just have to always remember to reach a hoof out to our neighbors, to respect and listen and talk to each other. You never know what just saying hello to some pony can do. So, without further ado... Here we go, this is the moment, yeah! Let the rainbow festival begin! <laughs> What? Oh, no, uh, that wasn't my speech. But, uh, then what have you been writing all day? Well, uh, another speech. I mean, it's for later, but... Ah, oh, flapjacks. I guess now is as good a time as any. <sighs> Petunia, you've never given up on me, or the town. 
You always had hope when we had none, and I can't imagine a day without you. You're the pony who brings color into my life. Petunia Petals, will you marry me? Of course, you silly goose. Introducing Popolo's very own Junior Wonderbolt! Yeah! Did you hear what she called us? Did you hear what she called us? Junior Wonderbolt! Wonderbolt. <laughs> 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 okay, guys, showtime! Something I'm proud to be a guest of honor for. <gasps> and it looks like there's a butterfly garden after all. Only one more thing can make this rainbow festival better. Oh, not more karaoke, darling. What? No! A trap DJ! <laughs> Any colors that you can devise Mix them up, watch the joy as it multiplies Make a rainbow and you will see How together we are like one when we harmonize Why just be black and white? No need to hide all those colors inside Cause when we shine so bright It just feels right To be living in color What you get when you're feeling mellow. Red is the part where your heart starts to glow. In the mood, in the groove, and to go. Blue is the sky, spinning high as can be. Orange can amaze, bringing days that are sunny. Green is serene, take a breath, feel new. Feel all the living colors. There's a rainbow in you. Now we're living. There's a rain. 